The drivers in IEMs are an important element that greatly affects the sound quality. But there are other aspects that matter for in ear monitors, like the shell shape. The Hyphen RE2000 Pro Silver uses that to its advantage, keeping the same driver as a cheaper model and optimizing its enclosure. Please leave a like on this video and let's get to it. This is a quite weirdly shaped IEM, but it doesn't mean it's uncomfortable. Once you get a good fit, with the correct tips, it feels very lightweight and doesn't apply any unwanted pressure inside or outside your ears. Its shell is a highly upgraded version of the older, non-pro version. It has been refined using modern CNC machining to achieve superior comfort, smoother finish, better looks and even further optimized acoustic properties. It's nice to see that an older product is still getting new revisions that are better than the previous versions. Technology moves forward, and doing nothing about it is going to make a product irrelevant sooner or later. The only problem with this slightly unusual shape is that it takes a long time to get a perfect fit in my ears. I have to mess with it for a bit longer than I would prefer to. So it's not a simple grab it and put it in experience. Regardless, once I get it in, I can wear it for hours. Another advantage of this design is that it doesn't fall out easily, so it's safe to use it for outside running, especially since it's wired. It isolates outside noises very well. It mostly depends on the tips you decide to use, but it can yield good results in noisy environments. The build feels quite premium, and that doesn't come as a surprise at $350. The shells are made using aviation-grade aluminum, with no plastic parts. It has a detachable cable with two-pin style plug, common for IEMs, so finding aftermarket cables shouldn't be a problem. The stock cable itself is of a much better quality than in a budget-oriented RE800. It's thicker, better behaved and higher quality. I'm sure it would positively affect the sound a little bit in comparison to the one permanently attached to the RE800. However, that is impossible for me to confirm or deny, as one on the RE800 is non-detachable. This cable uses premium internal conductors, made of pure crystalline copper with a coat of silver over it for better conductivity. While it's nothing special, it's not braided or anything, it uses good quality connectors, and I don't feel like it's a problem. I like that Hyphman kept in mind the stock cable itself and made it better as you go up their product line. In the box we also get a nice quality metal carrying case that's padded inside for extra protection. There is also a book explaining how Hyphman's technology works, how it was implemented and why it's so important. First of all, the driver used here is a dynamic driver, but it's not just a regular one. It has a topology diaphragm. It refers to the special nanoparticle coating applied to its surface. That allows Hyphman to achieve much more control over the driver itself, making it tailored perfectly to their needs. Dr. Feng Bien came up with this idea to essentially make a driver that performs unlike any other and eliminate other driver technology's downsides. Then it has a housing dedicated to this series of products. It was made to not only look good and feel comfortable in your ear, but also to sound better than any other housing shape. The frequency response has a wonderful extension, from 5 Hz all the way up to 20 kHz, covering the entire human hearing spectrum and then some more in the bass. That's nice to see. The impedance comes at 60 ohms, fairly high for an IEM. The sensitivity is 103 decibels, which is somewhat high, but not the highest you're going to encounter in the in-ear monitor world. This combination makes it still easy to drive, regarding the amount of power needed. But because of the technical performance and the resolution of this IEM, I would recommend not running it from a phone. Instead, I would aim for something a little bit higher quality, at least a dedicated dongle. The RE2000 Pro Silver's tonality is a shallow V. The lower bass is elevated slightly, as well as the top end frequencies. Nevertheless, the mid range is not scooped out. It stays fairly present, musical, and well done. The lower notes hit quickly, indicating that the driver is indeed fast due to its small size and high diaphragm stiffness. 
Hyphman hates distortion. That's why they developed their own drivers to avoid it as much as possible. In my opinion, they succeeded. No matter how loud I push it, there is no audible distortion or softness. It always keeps up, no matter how busy a given musical passage is. Moreover, there is noticeable impact on some harder hitting notes. It can punch you quite a bit when needed. It offers midrange that is one of my favorite amongst other IMs. It's very musical and sweet, but when a song asks for it, it can be extremely detailed. It is super flexible, making it easy to adapt to different music genres. It's recessed a little in one frequency range, around 2 or 3 kHz, which seems like a typical thing in this company's house sound. It can seem a little thin, but on a positive note, it also increases the soundstage size. Speaking of which, the positional effects are extraordinary here. It has depth, width and even some layering. It definitely doesn't sound like a budget IM, and that's good, as it isn't one. It lacks some scale to the instruments, but I have yet to find an IM that can deliver on this front. It's just a limitation of the driver's size. The imaging though is razor sharp, making you able to tell where the sounds are coming from, where they begin, and where they end. For the treble, it's pretty realistic, with accurate timber to go with. It doesn't sound metallic or plasticky, but it's a bit analytical in its nature. On the other hand, it contributes greatly to the detail retrieval. It's astonishing. It's by far the most detailed IEM I have ever heard. It can wonderfully separate voices, instruments, and other types of sounds from each other, making the presentation clear in opposite to being messy or blended in.